Hi everybody, Jerry Bellini here from Recycled Parts for Art. Welcome to Learn at the Little House. And I am so happy to be here with you today to create some art. Oh yeah. So before we get started and I tell you what we're going to do, I want to apologize for the banging and the machine running in the background and perhaps even the dog barking. We are finally working on our addition. We're building a garage and it's right on the other side of my art room wall. And so the noise can't be helped and I do apologize for that. So please just try to ignore it. All right, what are we gonna do? If you've been watching my vlogs, you would know that I've been wanting to do an altered book series. So that's what we're gonna start and I couldn't wait to get started so I thought I would pop on today and at least talk about what kind of a book you should choose for this project. All right, so I have a couple books here. Do's and don'ts. So the first book I'm going to show you is this one in the center. And it is a wide book. It's an inch and three quarters. So you really, you would like to, in a perfect world, in my perfect altered book series world, you'll be looking for a book that is at least an inch and a half to two inches wide. Why? Because we're going to remove pages, a lot of pages, but we're also going to be doing very thick um, textural three-dimensional work in our book. And so our book is going to wind up doing this. And that's okay. And in fact, I embrace it. I love it. But if you choose a book with a very narrow spine, like this one's only about, it's not even an inch, it's three quarters of an inch, it's really going to put stress on that spine when it does that. So look for a book that has a, a wider spine. The next important thing that I want you to do is look for a book that has signatures, okay, and is not sewn, so, I'm sorry, is not glued in. This book is glued in. These pages are glued in. And they just will not work for what we're doing in this particular series. They'll work for other things, but not for this series. So this book has signatures, all right? But like I said, it's too thin. But I wanted to show it to you because it has signatures. Now, before I open it and we talk about the signatures, and I have you zoomed in just a little, so I have to be careful about staying in frame. I want to talk to you about the size now. So we talked about the spine size and now the book size. This book is 9 inches by 6 inches. I like the size of this book. It, it feels like a good size to me. It feels like if I do a technique in here, it's going to have room to grow, to, to be how I want it to be. Um, this one is a little smaller. It's seven and a half by five and a half. So I feel like this is a little too small, but I want you to work in a book that you're comfortable in. If you want to do a great big book, an eight by 11 or even bigger, go for it. The only thing again, I'm going to ask you to do is to, to have the book have at least an inch and a half to two inch spine and to have sewn in signatures. How do I know that the signatures are sewn in? You're probably asking me if you don't know a lot about books. They're now knocking on my window. I am so sorry. So if you look, you can actually see the signatures. You see how there's lines across here? Those are the signatures. Hold on, I'm gonna see what they want. Okay, I'm going to leave that, that little uh, window tapping in the video just to let you know that they have the floor done in the edition and needed me to come and say it. <laughs> anyway, excuse me, that was a hiccup. Okay, so, um, you know, I'm real here, guys. So, uh, yeah, keeping it real. So, as I was saying, you can see the signatures in here. All right, but you also, when you open the book, and you grab a signature. Let me grab one of the ones in the center. And I'm going to pull on it. You see? Do you see that? That's a signature. It is a, a bunch of pages that are sewn in. So if I go to the center of the signature, and wow, it opened right to the center right away, you can see the thread. 
You see the black thread? This book happened to like me, and it had black thread in there, so it was easy for you to see. So that's the signature. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove some of the pages from each of the signatures. And you don't have to do all of it at once. In fact, I would uh, tell you not to. But go towards the middle of the book and where the um, string is, and you're gonna pull this entire page out. And in a second, you're gonna see. And see, I just ripped mine, which you wanna try not to do, because we might use these. Okay, so you see, that's the entire page and just set that aside and do that, remove a couple of these, okay? Because we need to get down the, and you can go like this too, you can just fold it in half and rip it like that. Uh, we need to remove some of these pages to get down uh, the girth of our book. We need it to be a little smaller. So depending on, you know, every book is different, so I can't tell you to rip out five pages uh, because some signatures have 20 pages, some signatures only have 10. So rip out two or three to start and then go to the next signature and you can do the same thing and just rip out two or three just to get your book, just to get it started. And don't worry about ripping out like a lot, a lot of pages all at once right off the bat. But what's going to wind up happening is your book is going to look like this, okay? It's going to get skinny. You see how my this one got real skinny? Because when you start ripping the pages out, and that is what you want. So I'm going to stop there for today. I want you to find a book that has sewn-in signatures with a one and a half to two inch spine and it is a decent size, something that you'd really enjoy working in. And we will come back in a couple of days and do the next part. Isn't this exciting? All right, this was a short video. I hope you all have a blessed day full of love and recycled art. And I can't wait to get started.